Hello, in this video we're going to look at the profit maximizing labor choice of a monopoly. We have a monopoly firm that faces an inverse demand of P equals 100 minus 2Q. Its production function is given by the following, where K is fixed at 4, and the monopolist has to pay a market wage rate of $32. And again, we want to solve for the profit maximizing level of labor, and we'll also get the profit maximizing output and price as well. So the key to doing this is setting up the profit maximizing condition. So the optimal labor usage will be given by the following equation, where the marginal revenue times the marginal product of labor equals the wage. So basically, the left-hand side is just a marginal benefit of hiring workers. The marginal benefit of hiring workers is the additional output we get multiplied by the added revenue from selling that additional output. And we keep doing something uh, up to the point where the marginal benefit just equals a marginal cost. So the left-hand side is just uh, the marginal cost. So let's first solve for marginal revenue. Marginal revenue is uh, going to come from the total revenue equation, where total revenue is price times quantity. What is price? It's up here, 100 minus 2Q. And that 100 minus 2Q is then multiplied by the quantity. Simplifying that, we get this. And now taking the derivative, uh, the derivative of 100Q minus 2Q squared is just simply 100 minus 4Q. Next, let's solve for the marginal product of labor. The first thing we want to do is take this production function and plug 4 into it. Uh, we're in the short run, so capital is fixed. And plugging 4 in for k and then taking the square root of it, our production function will simplify to this. Now, to get marginal product of labor, we'll just take the derivative of this production function with respect to L. Doing that, we get uh, L to the minus 1 half power. We bring down the 1 half in front, so 1 half times 2 is just 1. And then 1 half minus 1 leaves us with this negative exponent here. So rewriting our profit maximizing condition and then plugging everything we know uh, to be true, the marginal revenue, the marginal product of labor, and the wage. Uh, the next step here, I just recognize that L to the minus 1 half can be brought into the denominator as such. Multiplying both sides through by L to the 1 half power gives us this result. And, well, we have one equation and two unknowns, so what I want to do is I want to substitute out this L to the 1 half term. Going back to our production function that we had on the last screen, and then just solving it for L to the 1 half, in other words, just dividing through by 2, L to the 1 half equals Q divided by 2. I'm going to put Q divided by 2 in for the, the square root of L. So making that substitution, since L to the 1 half is Q divided by 2, we now have this. 32 divided by 2 is 16Q. Everything else is unchanged. Adding 4Q to both sides, we get 20Q equals 100. Dividing through by 20, we see the firm wants to produce 5 units of output. To get the profit maximizing price, take this 5 and plug it back into the inverse demand, and the firm will charge $90 per unit. And finally, let's get the profit maximizing level of labor. Uh, we see this L to the 1 half equals Q divided by 2. The optimal Q is 5, so I'm just going to plug 5 into this equation here. So L to the 1 half equals 5 divided by 2. To get rid of this 1 half, we'll square both sides. So 5 squared is 25, 2 squared is 4. So the optimal labor usage will simplify down to 6.25 units of labor. Okay, that's it. I hope you found this video helpful.